Now, now we are going to take up the another physical quantity that is the density. So see that density actually depends upon the packing of the molecules. Density actually depends upon the packing of molecules. Suppose I say that molecules are very closely packed, very, very closely packed, almost nil spaces are there. So we say that it is obviously going to be a denser. And if the particles are tightly, uh, loosely packed, not tightly, so they are said to be less denser. So actually density actually refers to the packings also. So I just want to reveal you this thing. So otherwise, if we are, if we define density, it is actually a mass per unit volume of the body. That means mass of the body to the volume of the body. So that means mass per unit volume is the density of the body. So that means density is mass of the body to volume of the body. That means the ratio of mass to volume for a body. And how we denote density actually? We denote the density by the symbol that is called as rho, R H O rho, and it is equal to mass per unit volume. Now, if we talk about the uh, units, then we know that the unit for mass is kg in SI and uh, this thing, the unit for volume is meter cube. So, it comes out to be kilogram per meter cube in SI units. And if we talk about CGS, we know mass is in gram and volume is in centimeter. So, obviously, it comes out to be gram per centimeter cube. So, this is what I have written, the units are kilogram per meter cube, you can write it this way also or this way also and in CGS it is gram per centimeter cube, you can write this way also and that one also. Now like uh, if I ask you that uh, we know that uh, density of water is high, so but uh, like if we have uh, two kind of things, suppose I have a, you can say a paper and I have a stone, so we know that when I am going to throw a paper in water obviously it is going to float, but if I am going to throw a stone into a water it is going to sink. So that means the sinking and floating uh, uh, is just merely depending upon, depends upon the, uh, you can say the densities of the substances like uh, is the, is the given substance like paper is denser or less denser than water or it is uh, lighter than water or it is heavier than water. This is what is actually we are comparing the density with. So for example, I throw a paper in the water, so obviously its density is going to be less. So that means it is not so much heavy, it is actually light and because it is light that means the particles are not so tightly packed. So we say that it is comparatively less denser or you can say it is uh, actually uh, less heavy, then that means it is going to float. So that means like if we like first we will talk about the density of water, let us say density of water is at 4 degree Celsius in SI it is 100 grand, 100,000 kilogram per meter cube and CGS it is 1 gram per centimeter cube. Now if we take a stone, suppose I take a stone, you know that stone is obviously a solid and solids are denser, quite denser than the water and if uh, particularly if we talk about the stone. So that means it is quite denser or you can say its density is high. So we, when we are going to throw a stone into a water, obviously it is going to sink. It is going to sink because it is heavy or you can say its density is high. And what is the reason behind? Because molecules are much tightly packed as compared to the molecules that are packed in the water. So that means obviously the substance which is going to sink or float just depends uh, upon the, uh, it depends upon the comparison of the densities. If the substance which you are adding to another substance is more uh, having a more density as compared to that one, obviously this is going to sink inside it. And the one which is less denser or you can say which is uh, not so much heavy or in which the particles are not closely packed or which is, uh, which is having a less density, it is going to float. So that means floating or sinking is mainly decided by the density and density is decided by the how the particles are packed closely or tightly, uh, loosely. So this is what is the density. You need to remember this that density of water of pure water I am talking about is uh, 1 gram per centimeter cube in CGS unit and uh, 1000 kilogram per meter cube in the SI units. Now suppose what is the like if you talk about that how we can actually measure the density of any substance. Suppose uh, I need to measure a density of one stone. Let us say I need to measure a density of one stone. So what I am going to do is firstly I am going to uh, like take its mass by using a physical balance. Let us say its mass comes out to be m. As we already discussed that we use uh, this thing, we can actually uh, take the mass of any body. We know the method also. So suppose we have determined its mass and let us say its mass is m. And we have determined, determined the volume also. Let us say its volume is v. 
So, for uh, taking up the density, what we have taken, we have taken a measuring cylinder. As you can see, it is partially filled with water and there are markings also. So, here you can see that uh, the, in the measuring cylinder, this level is at 70. Now, what I am going to do, this is indicating the volume actually. This is indicating the volume. Let us say what I am going to do is, now I am going to uh, take a thread and suspend this stone to which uh, like uh, whose density is uh, we want to measure. I am going to suspend this stone by means of thread into a water. So, what happened the, the like the time we suspend what happened the water level just rises here it was at 70 and it rises to 90. So, that means initial volume is 70 and uh, the final volume comes out to be 90 after dipping that stone. So, that means we can find the weight that is V2 minus V1. So, obviously it is 90 minus 70 comes out to be 20. So, we can actually now take up the density. So, how the density is taken? It is mass per unit volume. Mass we already know by M. This volume we can know by uh, calculating the difference. So, this is how we are going to determine the density of any substance. So, this is what uh, the method or uh, what is actually the density actually means and you should know that uh, this is very important that float, floating of any substance into another substance or sinking is just merely depending upon the density. So, this is how you measure the density of any substance by using a measuring slender and these are the units which you need to uh, remember for the density. Now, we are going to take a few numericals based on it and then we will be taking up the relative density.